Well, hello there. The Indus River Valley was filled with cities that were thriving. Harappa and Mohenjo-daro are two examples of these, of these cities. Daily life in the Indus River Valley was not too different than ours today. Let's take a look. Discovered in what could be a granary, these weights and scale are thought to have been used to measure grain. That measured grain could have been used to pay taxes or traded for other goods. The Great Bath is a 39 foot long pool built of waterproof brick. Citizens probably enjoyed their time cooling off in the bath on a hot day. The Great Bath is also thought to have been used in religious rituals because of the importance of bathing rituals in Hinduism. Many statues have been discovered that display how men may have dressed and groomed themselves. Also, beautiful stone beads that have been found point to the types of jewelry the women may have worn. Small stone seals that have been discovered are somewhat of a mystery to archaeologists. More than 400 pictographs have been found and archaeologists have made their best educated guesses as to what they mean. Some think these were used as charms to keep away evil. Others believe that merchants may have stamped their goods with wax tags with the impression of a stone seal. Like any civilized settlement, the early Indus River Valley civilizations needed to get rid of their waste. PU. Archaeologists discovered a network of clay pipes that connected Mohenjo-daro's buildings and homes which were used to rid the city of waste and dirty water. Houses were an integral part of society in the early Indus River Valley civilizations. Houses had flat roofs and were two stories high. Archaeologists believe that the poorer people lived in smaller homes and the richer lived in larger ones. Archaeologists have also uncovered many handcrafted objects that could have been used for games. And the game of chess is also said to have been invented in India. As evident in its many artifacts and discoveries, the Indus River Valley civilizations were large, well-planned cities and its people enjoyed a high quality of life. Well, that's all for this edition of History in 5 Minutes or Less. Hope you liked it. Remember to subscribe and like. And here's some sources. And some photo credits. And some more photo credits.